uh, we, are, we are talking about Schindler's List. In 1982, uh, two young men in Australia met in a pub, and uh, like they do in a pub, they start talking to each other, and one guy asks the other, what, what are you doing? What is your profession? And the guy said, I am a writer, a novelist. And uh, so this, this guy says to him, oh, you are a writer. I, do I have a story for you? And, and sitting there in the pub, he told him the whole story. He was one of the people on Schindler's list and how he survived. And this was in 1982. And, and I read an article about this encounter and, and I immediately bought the book, which was a beautifully written book. And, and I read the book and, and for my synagogue, I, I wrote a book review, and this uh, it's it's very moving, and and I st okay Schindler's List by Thomas Keneally. This is a book about the Holocaust. Having said that, I hasten to add that it is also a pen to what is good in man written about a German Catholic by an Australian Christian. Even the coincidental way the book came about makes interesting reading, but we will skip that part altogether. It is a piece of the mosaic, a real brilliant shining gem of what was humankind's darkest hour. It asks again the question and does not answer it. Does history make great men or do great men make history? Oskar Schindler was a young, brash, uh, he, I, I quote, he looked sleekly handsome in the style of the film stars George Sanders and Kurt Jurgens. His hacking jacket and jot purse were tailored. His riding boots had a high shine, end of quote. He loved fast cars, fast women, and liquor. A loyal German above reproach, he found himself in Krakow in 1942. At the helm of a factory that previously belonged to a Jew. Things in Krakow started benignly. I quote, the Judenrat would supply the labor details. They thought that this would stop the random press ganging. They always brought the civil authorities off by cooperating with them and negotiating, end of quote. They believed in the value of a passive and orderly response. This was, I am quoting the Judenrat, that they believed in a value of a passive and orderly response. One day Schindler, riding on a hill above the ghetto with his girlfriend, witnesses an action. Scenes of such utter horror that it changes his life. And I'm quoting again, beyond this day, no thinking person could fail to see what would happen. I was now resolved to do everything in my power <coughs> to defeat the system. To write these things now is to state the commonplace of history. But to find them out in 1942, to have them break up on you from a June sky was to suffer a fundamental shock, a derangement in the brain in which stable ideas about humankind and its possibilities are kept. The story flows, sometimes lyrical, and I quote, and the half-tumbled wall showed gravestones like teeth in the cruelly exposed mouth of winter, the, thus describing a vandalized Jewish cemetery, or looking down at the 
at the concentration camp. He moved, he moved teams, uh, teams of women were moving black as bunches of musical notations in the strange, darkling luminescence of a snowy evening. Oskar Schindler, who had always been a man of transactions, begets an idea. He will make a business proposition to his drinking bodies, the SS, the upper hierarchy governing the occupied Polish town. Jewish slave labor will enrich them all, but at the same time he will be able to protect some people. It was a daring tightrope act. He was arrested three times when his motives became suspect. He cajoled, he bribed, he even gambled for lives. He entertained lavishly, drank prodigiously, averted suspicion and kept doggedly to his plan. Oscar had become a minor god of deliverance endowed with all the human vices, yet capable of bringing salvation. The chosen were unanimous. I don't know why he did it. Events moved fast. Oscar sees the boxcars going to Auschwitz. He prevails on the SS to bring out the fire brigade to hose down the cattle cars stalled for days in the summer heat with the prisoners strapped, strapped inside to afford them some relief. As Oscar moves along the string of cars accompanied by the laughter of the SS bringing mercy, it can be seen that he is not so much reckless anymore but possessed. Auschwitz, the dreaded phenomenon, the moral universe had not so much decayed here. It had been inverted like a black hole under the pressure of Earth's malice, a place where tribes and histories were sucked in and vaporized." End of quote. The news tightens. His Jews are also forced into a camp when they march to work every day. He devises a fantastic scheme. He will move the entire factory to a safer place. By turning to producing shell cases, he convinces the bureaucracy that his essential industry would be safer in a small town and he starts making a list. This is now quoting. There is a haziness of the legend about the precise chronology of Oscar's list, but not about its authenticity. A copy can be seen today in the archives of Yad Vashem, 1100 men, women and children. After a torturous journey in cattle cars, segregated, the women get stuck in Auschwitz for several indescribable weeks. He finally has them all together again. Here in Brinlitz, he maintained his prisoners' lives by a ser series of stunts so rapid that they were nearly magical. It was one sustained, dazzling, in integral confidence streak. The tone was one of fragile permanence. There were no dogs, there were no beatings. The soup and the bread were plentiful. Long afterward, they would call Schindler's camp a paradise. It inspired in people a sense of almost surreal deliverance. The Russians are closing in. We are in the spring of 1945. The SS guards make one last attempt to convince Schindler to liquidate the Jews. 
כי אלט מנו וזה מגן. The prisoners get together and, and write a letter in Hebrew at a test into what Oscar did for them. A man, a man removes the gold bridge work from his mouth and they fashion a ring engraved inside. He who saved a single life saves the whole world. An ordinary man had his exalted moment in history. He sinks, he sinks back into decades of obscurity sustained morally and financially by his Schindler Juden, now living dispersed on five continents. There is a tree on the avenue of the righteous leading to Yad Vashem, a tree marked by a simple plaque, and then there is this book. Donny, you wrote this before the film, before Schindler became you, you so were, well known. You, I wrote this in 1984. The film was made in 1993. And I know that the film was not very exact to what really happened. Some things were exact, but some things weren't. Because in the camp where they lived, there was no shooting and beating. And, and uh, for a little bit more dramatic uh, effect, uh, Spielberg put in a lot of horrible things in the camp where the Jews were living, who were working in his factory. That wasn't so. But anyway, this is it. But Dolly, I want to just mention, there are reviews I have never, ever heard such a review. And I've read many reviews in my lifetime. I've never heard somebody write such a review. There really are no words. Dolly, you are so incredibly gifted. And who knows, may, most probably somebody who read your review. And that's who why, knows? that's it's very really possible that uh, this, this was, this was in a, in a synagogue's uh, uh, weekly let uh, I got very I got wonderful feedback I must say I did get wonderful feedback people started reading the book and uh, there, there is a little bunch of Jews who knew about Schindler's list before the movie came out that's all that's well you 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 were a pioneer <laughs> in 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 um, no, it, a pioneer in, in it, actually it, in, it, in uh, it really that book, recognizing the greatness that of Oscar Schindler. really Schindler. did something to me that was life changing, life changing. That that here is a man who is absolutely, absolutely uh, in German there is a word a Lebemann, a li, li, liver, a, a man who likes to live. That's all. He was handsome, he was rich, he was smart, and then he saw this one action and his life changed. And, and, and he, he was, he was uh, walking a tightrope. Well, Dolly, we are indebted to you, and really your, your review, and your, your, you are so gifted, and you are so, so dear, and I really think that people who read your review, that was the, possibly the impetus for the movie and today Oscar Schindler is well known, but you were one of the pioneers in... in it, it's a coincidence. I was, I was always very interested in what was going on in the Holocaust because I had very, very many friends who perished and very many friends who survived and... and so I happened to read this book. It's not coincidence, it's all Minash Shemaim, it was meant yes. to be, yes. and you were the one who was meant to write that incredible and moving and profound, profound... It, it is moving because it's a beautiful story. You can't, you can't argue about the story because, it's, because there, were, there were very many people 
who who behaved well uh, like Wallenberg and Lutz and there were very many people but these were people in positions and with diplomatic uh, immunity you know yeah. and and uh, the Jap uh, Japanese guy and all these people were wonderful Sugihara yeah. it's, it's Sugihara but uh, but uh, this guy was he was unique. He he was unique, and he was in a unique position, and he recognized that here I can really make a difference for a few people, and and I.